Hello, welcome to the MR Running Pains Podcast, or welcome back to the MR Running Pains Podcast. Today, I had a uh, listener-supported question. Josh sent in a question on Facebook um, about what do I use for foot care? So um, that's, um, or what do I have for foot care when I do an ultra? or in my crew bag or drop bag or, um, you know, what do I bring with me? So that's a great question, Josh. Um, And on Facebook, I referred him to a great book. Uh, I know that's backwards, but Fixing Your Feet. Uh, They're on edition seven. I think this is the sixth edition, but John Von Hoff. I'm going to put this book into the the notes, the description for the video, as well as the, um, the podcast show notes. So um, this one, I'm going to show a lot of stuff. So again, if you're listening and have the opportunity to watch the YouTube video, I'll try to describe everything the best I can um, of what I'm pulling out of my bag. Um, But again, there'll be the YouTube um, video resource that you can refer to. So again, maybe you want to watch this one um, because there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to go over uh, that I carry. That's not just for fixing your feet, but for, um, you know, just in case uh, I'm lucky enough to have uh, a wife who is a physician and she packs that. (laughs) So um, I have uh, quite the extensive uh, two bags of medical stuff. Um, as we go into the grand slam, I'm sure we'll be, um, condensing and, uh, making sure that we have everything that we need, uh, for my travels. Uh, unfortunately she won't be able to go to all of the grand slam races, but, um, I will carry this stuff with me. So I have two bags, um, and, uh, hold up these two bags. So this is, uh, this is what I'll be going through. Um, for those of you that can't see, I've got, one gallon size Ziploc and one probably two gallon <laughs> uh, size Ziploc. Uh, again, which I could probably condense down into like a, a tubware box, but we usually carry these in my uh, in my crew bag is what it was where we bring them. But um, going back to fixing your feet, the book, um, there are some great lists that he has. Now, again, I have the sixth edition um, and I earmarked it. Um, but, um, he's got a list for mandatory foot care to, to go back to Josh's question. Um, you know, he talks about what to, what to bring, um, the book itself, um, this edition costs 20 bucks, 1995, I believe you can get it on Amazon. Um, but he also has in the back and kind of towards the appendix, not quite in the appendix, but, um, he's also got, um, basic self-care kit for home use. He's got a fanny pack kit, so maybe something that you carry on your person while you're racing. He's got the event kit, right? So, um, you know, when like I did pack like these these massive things, it's quite the extensive list. And and much of it is what I'm going to go over in this podcast. So um, if you don't get the book, a lot of what I'm going to go over is also going to have what's in this book. But this book is just a great resource for your crew. Um, you know, how to take care of your feet, things that you can read about to, to know ahead of time, making sure that you've got the right fit with footwear, um, the right type of socks, all that kind of stuff, um, how to fix blisters, everything. It's, it's really comprehensive book, a great resource for those of you that aren't fortunate enough to have uh, a medical person, um, in your crew or available to you at an aid station. It's a great resource that you could give to your crew. Um, you know, just in case you need it. Also, if you're doing it solo, another good resource for you. So um, this would be something you could carry in a crew bag. So anyway, fixing your feet, um, the great book. You know, I like I said, I, I thoroughly, you can see I have the earmarks there. Um, it's, a, it's a great resource, great thing to have. Okay. So um, that said, let me set this to the side. I'm going to dip into um, my what I'm carrying or what my crew is carrying for me um, during, you know, big ultras. This has, um, this has served me through multiple conditions, um, multiple different types of races. Uh, you know, I, I had this at Umstead 
Um, and it was, um, it was a saver, uh, because the, I was using one type of lube and it was so humid at Umstead. And I, I, I hadn't run in that type of humidity yet at that point in the year. And the, the usual, um, anti-chafe that I was using just wasn't cutting it. Uh, you know, I was getting pretty bad chafage. So I dipped into my medical bag and you'll see, I carry multiple types of, of, uh, anti-chafe and tried a different one. And thankfully that worked and stopped the chafing from, from hurting. Um, so, you know, it's, it's great to have, uh, a, a slew of things in here, backups to your backups, as you'd say, um, especially with the anti-chafe, because uh, you just don't know what conditions will bring. You know, like I said, I've, I've used this hard rock UTMB. Um, you know, we used it out at um, um, Bighorn, which, you know, the conditions there, my feet were just soaked the entire time, um, just soaking wet because of the weather. Um, uh, you know, my feet were trashed, uh, but I didn't have any problems just cause we took care of my feet. You know, we, we used this kit. Um, so, um, you know, having a versatile kit is, is great for think about all your conditions, right? Dry, whether that's, um, you know, a Sandy type of race. Um, like when we just did Bigfoot, the dust there, um, was something that I wasn't prepared for. My feet, you know, were just, they were getting um, some really bad hot spots just because of the dust that's around Mount St. Helens. Um, you know, it's something that I wasn't used to here on the East Coast, those conditions. And it, you know, it, it started to really bother my feet. So we had to address it. And um, my crew addressed it as well as the medical staff um, on course. Uh, you know, I had um, tape jobs on heels and such, but, uh, you know, again, learning how to tape your feet, that's huge, whether you can do it yourself or have somebody within your crew do it um, to address those hot spots. And I have a lot of stuff in my kit that will help with that. So, you know, anti-chafe, you're talking about blister packs. Um, there's, you know, uh, I have stuff in here for, for sprains. Um, there's all sorts of things in this. So let me, let me dip into the bag here. I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. They're in no particular order. Um, and I will try to put a list of all this stuff in, again, the video description, as well as in the, uh, the audio, uh, the podcast uh, show notes. So um, non-stick pads, in case uh, there's a million uses for non-stick pads, um, I, again, blisters, um, you know, cuts, it's, there's, you know, a ton of things you can use non-stick pads for. Um, and then I've got actually, uh, and I'll probably repeat a few things. So, but I'm just pulling things out, like I said, um, but I've got, you know, gauze pads in here and such, but um, <clears throat> non-stick pads, first item. Uh, this is the second skin, um, the, the company's second skin blister kit. Uh, so it's got a ton of different types of, um, of second skins, of mole skins, what you, you know, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so, you know, if you're getting something, you can put it over so that it's the abrasion is going against the, uh, the layer of, of, you know, of the, uh, the blister kit here. So, um, this, and you can cut these. So, um, I want to go into my kit here. Uh, if I dig around, I've got a pair of scissors in there, which I'm sure I'll pull out in a bit, but you can cut these obviously to fit whatever need uh, or size uh, of the blister or hotspot. So great little thing to have second skin blister kit. <laughs> Asper cream. Um, so um, Asper cream has, uh, it's been great. Um, I think um, we carry another type of cream in here. Um, and, um, I think my wife took it out, uh, for, <laughs> for our, our own home use, <laughs> but, uh, Asper cream serves a great function, uh, for, you know, sore achy muscles rubbing it in. Um, so Asper cream thumbs for, uh, an unsettled stomach. Um, yeah, I, I really use Tums during the race. Um, but, uh, you know, it, they're great little uh, travel size to, to have on board. So some Tums. 
Um, I'm not going to say this is something you should carry. This is something you should probably consult your physician about. Um, but we have both um, Advil and Tylenol uh, in my packs. Um, again, my wife's a physician, knows when and what circumstances that we, these should be used. Uh, and it's it's not just for me. Keep that in mind. It's also for the crew. You know, the crew may have a headache or something you know they're dealing with. So uh, great to have on board, not only for the runner, but for your crew. Um, waterproof athletic tape. So I've got a few different types of athletic tape. Um, this, um, this is, uh, <laughs> obviously multifunction, multipurpose. Um, you can use this for patching a pack. Um, you know, just there's a, a jillion different uses. It's like duct tape, but also you can use it for obviously medical use, taping up, um, covering up your second skin, right? So that it doesn't peel as much. So um, the waterproof athletic tape, great thing to have on on hand. Uh, you know, as I said, I have a few different types. This is more of a, um, a non-waterproof. I also have um, a longer... This is like a pre-wrap, so you can put this on first. Um, you know, it, it, we go through all different types of things. This and, it, you know, if, if the moleskin's not working, you can put this on and then your athletic tape. So it's kind of a pre-wrap. So like I said, multiple different types of uh, athletic tapes. <laughs> uh, butterfly stitches. Um, butterfly stitches. I've used them. I've had to use them. Um, you know, I've I've seen some runners get some really bad cuts. Um, and these can be, you know, a lifesaver. Well, I hope, you know, hopefully it doesn't come to that being a lifesaver, but if you get a really bad cut in which, you know, it's it might require stitches or on the border of something like that and you want to close it up, butterfly stitches, great thing to have on board. So butterfly stitches. <laughs> uh blisto band uh this is kind of a um um so um a kind of a liquid um instead of having you could put this um on and then put the uh covering over it whether you use the athletic tape or moleskin or whatever it may be this is a liquid you put over it and it makes it kind of a glide if you will so it, it makes kind of a, a sack over the, the blister so that it's not pushing against the blister. So again, another, um, another thing you can use, uh, uh, this one hasn't been opened, so we haven't, we haven't used this product yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> these are all mole skins. So, uh, again, you know, kind of a repeat product, but we've got a ton of different types of mole skin. Um, and so, uh, we've, we've dipped into these, <laughs> so, um, some, some old skin packs. Okay. Got some squirrels, nut butter, like a backup tube. Uh, so this is like my carry size. So if, if I run out, um, in my pack, I can go into and pick up a, another one. If I don't have it in, um, you know, my, my regular drop bag, I usually carry a few different size sticks and um, this is my backup one. So, um, having backups for your pack or just to use real quick, uh, great to have your kind of travel size, if you will. Afrin, um, um, I, I've got allergies and I never know when they're going to act up. This clears out your nose, cleans out your nose. You know, if it's really dusty and you're getting kind of that, you know, gross, <laughs> um, nose <laughs> uh discharge afrin it'll clean you up you know it'll clean your sinuses keep you going so never know when i'm going to need afrin but we pack it all right um got some other things here um so big gauze pads um, can be used for cleaning up wounds, um, dressing wounds, whatever you need. Uh, so large gauze pads. Good to carry multiple sizes. 
Um, got some more moleskin. Um, the bottom here is uh, we've got some some wet wipes. Um, never know if you just want to clean up. Uh, you know, so wet wipes, travel size, nice to put in there. Um, just to you know, clean your hands if you're going to address a wound or something like that. Wet wipes. Uh, the bottom here, kind of looking through, there's a few things. I'm not sure what they are, um, but um, my wife <laughs> would probably know what they are and how to use them. But the rest of this bag, you can see, is pretty much just different sizes of Band-Aids. Um, so good to have multiple sizes of Band-Aids just, uh, you know, in case of uh, whatever <laughs> cut you may have or whatever size cut you may have. So multiple sizes of Band-Aids. That's the rest of this bag. All right. Going into the next bag. Uh, first thing that pops out is Ace Bandage. Um, you know, God forbid something happens. Uh, just having the Ace Bandage on hand. Here's the scissors I referred to earlier. Got a pair of scissors. Uh, so many functions, so many uses. Uh, you know, so having a pair of scissors, great thing to have in your kit. Got a, a bag within a bag here. <laughs> uh, another thing of blisto band, the liquid um, that you put over the, the blisters. Um, some more different types of uh, wipes. These are the Nathan shower wipes. Um, I carry a few different types of nipple guards. Um, these are nippies. So just in case you're getting that nipple chafage, um, great little thing aside from band-aids, you know, um, there's, a, I have a few different types of guards in here, so I'll go through those. As I said, I get allergies pretty bad. So, um, we've got breathe right strips. Um, so, um, make sure you get the right size for you or your nose. Um, but if you're allergies start acting up or sinuses start acting up, these can really help. Or if you're just having bad sinuses to begin with. Um, we've got a few different products here from, um, oh, wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a really old one. Um, squirrels nut butter. Um, the regular squirrels nut butter in a little can. Um, and Got some Visine drops, so eye drops, always good to have on board. Take care of everything you can think of, so eye drops. Um, as I talked about earlier, um, there are multiple types of anti-chafe and uh, Boudreaux's butt paste. If you've read my newsletter or uh, heard me talking in the past or race reports, I've talked about Boudreaux's. Uh, it's a zinc oxide-based um, anti-chafe, it's, you know, basically a diaper rash cream. So if you're already chafing, this is a great product. And this is what I referred to earlier when I said I switched over to something at Umstead and this was it. Um, Boudreaux's butt paste, great to have on board. It makes a mess, uh, cause it is zinc oxide. So it's, it's, it's white. It will get all your garments white. So <laughs> know that ahead of time, it does make a mess, but it does work great. Uh, this has an anti-chafe or if you already have chafing, it relieves the chafing. So Great product right there. Um, I also carry A and D ointment. Um, A and D, it's um, just a um, again a type of uh, anti chafe. Um, you know, if if you're if you've been wiping you know, yourself um, from using the restroom and you're sore in that area, this is a, a great cream for that as well. <laughs> so uh, A and D ointment. Um, Cortisone, if you get bug bites, uh, you know, poison ivy, whatever, uh, cortisone is great as like an anti-itch. Um, some neosporin, uh, if you have a cut, you know, this is a great kind of, I think this one is the uh, pain relief and, and antibiotic. So um, great to put on cuts and scrapes. We've got a little thing of um, sunblock, okay? Little travel size sport block. This one's SPF 50. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if you're in a pinch, need it, it's in there. So sunblock. Um, this is a different 
different type of nipple guard. <laughs> so uh, I don't think they make this product anymore. But, um, you know, just like I said, uh, having backups to the backups. <laughs> um, good product. Uh, and that's that's nip guard. This one's nip guard. Um, so these are some extra uh, Ziploc bags, just in case. Got some travel size Aleve packs. If you want to throw them in your pack, some more Boudreaux's. Got some more hand wipes. Just kind of digging down in here. <laughs> some more moleskin. So more wipes, more moleskin. But I got to go through this and, <laughs> and clean some stuff out. Um, got some um, happy toes. Uh, this was great at uh, um, Bigfoot. When, like I said, when my heels started really hurting, you know, getting into those really bad hot spots, we put this on um, and then actually taped over it. Uh, and it really, uh, it really did help. So um, the squirrel nut butter, um, happy toes, good stuff. Um, CBD, uh, so CBD solve. Uh, this product comes from Silver Moon. Uh, I'll just say I have no affiliation with any of these brands, but just stuff that's worked for me in the past. Um, this, uh, this I, I rub on like my knees if they start getting sore, um, and in my calf, um, it's, it's really, um, it does give, uh, some relief. So, uh, product works for me, but, uh, you know, I, I, I can't speak to, to everybody not everybody believes in CBD. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not too sure if it's just, uh, my mind or or what but it seems to work for me so cbd again silver moon this is their solve so cbd products uh looks like we've got a ton more <laughs> squirrel nut butter of various sizes so we've got a, a full size another travel size and then the mini stick these are usually the size that i carry in my pack um but um you know if you're really going through a lot of it it's good to have the, the medium size and then there's the full size again backups to the backups so I've got um that's up we're up to <laughs> four sticks in this bag of this stuff all right um we've got some um well there's another one <laughs> um oh well, that's a sorry that's a sunscreen so this is a um a, uh, a sunscreen stick. So usually I apply this to the face. This is nice to carry uh, as well as a chapstick. So chapstick and sunscreen. Those are what those are. Yep. Very good. A little sunscreen, a little chapstick, another chapstick. Uh, my wife's probably looking for that. <laughs> uh, two little tools that are, are great as just in cases. One being tweezers. Okay, splinters, whatever, you know, tweezers, great. Nail clipper, always great to have on board just in case you got something, a hangnail, whatever, it's bugging you, especially, you know, within your, your socks or something. Having the nail clipper, great little tool to keep as well as tweezers. So tweezers, scissors, nail clipper, all great tools to have. So we're getting towards the bottom here. Like just a few things left. Uh, sanitizing wipes so some type of um, wipe to clean a cut uh, antiseptic wipe so antiseptic wipes great to have on board um, more antiseptic wipes and some more travel Aleve as well as um, this is just regular petroleum jelly uh, kind of like a Vaseline Again, you can use these for a ton of different purposes, but, um, you know, it's, it's basically, um, if you had picked up like a little medical kit, first aid kit, everything in there is super useful. Um, uh, you may add some of the stuff that, that I've gone over here. Um, uh, but these are, that's my med kit bag. Uh, as I said, my wife may throw in a few more things. Um, Voltaren gel is another one that we use. Um, that's the gel that I was talking about earlier that, uh, she probably took out cause we, we do use that as well. So Voltaren gel, um, I'll put all that again into the notes. Uh, but that's, that's everything that I carry in my kit. 
Um, that should take care of your feet as well as everything else. Um, it's not a comprehensive list. Obviously, there's things that you may need personally. Um, so, you know, if, if you um, if you have other things that you know you need, be it medicine or um, whatever it may be, you know, obviously throw those in. This is my list. Um, doesn't mean it's everything that you need, but it's a pretty comprehensive packing. Uh, so I hope that helps. Um, you know, I hope that answers some questions, maybe gives you some ideas uh, for you know, being, uh, being prepared for your next ultra packing your next med bag. Uh, a lot of stuff here. It's, it's good to go through it from time to time as I just did. Cause I saw a ton of stuff that I can kind of, uh, condense down, um, and, uh, and kind of take some stuff out so that maybe we don't need two bags. <laughs> um, but, uh, that's, that's everything again, you know, don't forget about fixing your feet, another great resource for you. Um, but, um, like I said, I'll put all those lists in the description of the video, as well as in the show notes for the podcast. Um, so far as everything else that's going on with the, uh, the newsletter will be coming out We're um, we'll, we'll be, uh, um, I'll be sending out the newsletter this weekend as, uh, yeah, Sunday is new year's so happy new year's i hope everybody's having a great holiday um if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter you can do so on my website mrrunningpains.com that will also be in the description and the show notes uh so please join me um for the newsletter it's free try to you know try to make it as uh, informational as i can i jam pack it with um you know training tips reviews all sorts of things that i can think of that uh that hopefully will help you running so please join me there um and lastly, the contest ends on J December 31st. On January 1st, in the newsletter, I'll be announcing the winner of the raffle. So if you donated $100 to um, either of my causes, uh, which are the Vermont Adaptive or the Challenged Athlete Foundation, you are entered into winning six months of free coaching. That's a $750 value. Um, you'll get you know, my one-on-one -on -one coaching um through training peaks and uh so for every hundred dollars you donate you'll be entered uh you know that many times into the raffle i thanks to all that have donated you can still donate like i said up until um the end of december 31st uh, so if you can please join me there uh and, and support these great causes for these awesome athletes we have raised over eight thousand uh, dollars which is incredible um, absolutely incredible. I would love, 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 love to raise, you know, 10,000 plus dollars. We still have plenty of time and, you know, I'm just, I'm just running this contest right now, but, uh, we have up till I think July, uh, to, to donate. So I want to keep giving to these foundations, uh, or keep prompting for folks to, to donate to these donate to these, uh, foundations, uh, to help these athletes and to, uh, to make their dreams come true as well. Um, uh, and thank you all once again for everything that you've done for all the support you've shown Josh. Thanks for the question. Um, I hope this answers a lot of questions and if you have more, um, you know, please just drop a line. Um, I'm happy to answer questions. So thank you again for joining me. Um, a very happy holidays. I hope your new year's brings you um, great success that you have a wonderful new year with your friends, your families, uh, with your running goals. Uh, so, and if you need to talk about coaching, man, I'm, <laughs> I think I'm at the, almost at my cap. I have to take a look, but I am, I've, I've had a lot of new athletes come on board, uh, recently. So, uh, if you're interested in coaching, it's, you know, it's good to have this conversation now, uh, cause I, I sh probably will be, you know, capping <laughs> where I'm at cause it's, it's getting super busy. So thank you to my athletes. Thank you to all of you for listening, for watching, for being a part of this podcast. I thank you. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me continue to do this. Uh, you can find more information about Patreon in the, the show notes if you're interested in supporting the podcast and my YouTube channel here so that I can continue to do these informational videos and podcasts. Um, really appreciate you all. And uh, once again, be safe. Enjoy your new year. And uh, as always, keep running, my friends.